My name is Alicia Edelman Pelton. I work in the advanced development team at Microsoft Research, and I'm a program manager. And our group helps to engineer research projects to help get them to the outside world in the form of a product or an individual release. Program managers fill lots of different roles at Microsoft and um, the role is really very different in very different parts of the company. In Microsoft Research, uh, we kind of are the glue between research and engineering, uh, organizations like marketing and legal, and we help to pull all those pieces together. I originally chose to go into engineering, um, and I started out in electrical engineering in school. Um, and I knew I wanted to be an engineer from a very young age because I knew that I loved math and I loved to solve problems in especially creative ways. It, for me, solving problems was like doing a puzzle. You know, everything was how do all the pieces break down and how do they fit back together in the most efficient and beautiful ways. So I, I knew I wanted to do some sort of engineering. Um, I started out in electrical engineering and um, went straight through undergraduate and decided that I really liked to write code a lot better than I liked hardware. So in my graduate degree, I decided to explore artificial intelligence, which enabled me to um, write code for two more years. I found out about program management um, at a job fair at Purdue during my graduate studies. And um, I went up to the woman at the Microsoft booth and I said, so I, I really like engineering and I really love to write code, but I really like people too. <laughs> and, and she said, so, you know, do you, do you like to see things as a big picture? Do you like to interact with different types of people other than just engineers? And I said, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly the thing I'm looking for. And she said, well, we have this role at Microsoft and that's what you do. You, you don't do coding every day, but it's good to know how to do that, and you've got to know how to interact with people that write code every day. But you do much more, and you um, have more contact with the, the human interaction side, um, with people and with customers. And uh, I have to say, my eyes lit up, and I couldn't believe like they had something that was exactly what I wanted to do. It wasn't sitting in a room writing code every day, but yet the opportunity to do that when I wanted to. Um, and about a week later, I was on a plane uh, visiting Microsoft and doing my first interview there. Microsoft is, is hugely supportive of um, educational opportunities both inside and outside of Microsoft. Um, as well as providing mentorship opportunities. I think those things that I've taken advantage of have really helped me grow my career. Microsoft also provides additional opportunities to explore creative and even artistic endeavors. Um, we recently had a week called a Make Fest. The goal for the week is to make something. And people come at the beginning of the week and pitch different ideas. Um, and you can join any team you want and do something that is similar to what you do on a day-to-day -day basis or completely different. And I chose to work with a team that was looking at how to make data more accessible to people. We have more and more data available to us every day. And so we picked Twitter data. And we looked at the expression of Twitter data in food. In textile, we did crocheted hyperbolic curves representing different aspects of Twitter data. Um, we also did abstract paintings. We also did a series of textual artistic interpretations that included punctuation marks used in Twitter data. And we also did 3D models of the world that showed the volume of, t of tweets from different areas of the world, and we actually printed them out on a 3D printer. So we looked at data in a variety of different ways, including many different elements in the artistic realm of how people can explore and interpret data today. And the goals of MakeFest were really to bring diverse groups of people together to explore new ideas and to see what might be fruitful in the future. When you have the opportunity to explore things creatively kind of outside the context of your normal job, 
you know, genius could surface. I think one of my favorite projects at Microsoft was working on Index Server 1.0. And it was incredibly exciting because it was a new product. Um, we were going out to the whole world and we did the first worldwide web release for a product. And you know how we did it? We sent people with CDs, couriered them all over the world. Literally, people with a suitcase chained to their hand. And then all, everybody had to copy them to the servers that were sitting under everybody's desk. What excites me is looking back and seeing where we were and what we thought might be possible and how we've crossed those boundaries. And I think if I look back to that project and see how far we've really come in just, I don't know, 17 years, I mean, it's really quite spectacular. I mean, things that we never thought were possible are completely simple and easy and my kids would not even think not to have them today. I always have to be learning something new. And sometimes that applies directly to work, and I'm learning a new programming language, or I'm learning a new way to specify things, or I'm doing research on different product methodologies. Um, sometimes I'm learning outside of the work how to cook or craft or bake um, or sing or dance. But I know I always have to be learning and working on something. I'm incredibly passionate about social justice, and what gets me excited these days is how accessible technology makes us to social justice issues that used to be invisible. Technology makes it possible for us to experience um, life in poverty virtually. Technology makes it possible for us to come together to work on a shared goal, to raise money for a cause, or to um, pass a word about some particular injustice. So I'm very, very excited about the marrying of, of my work life technology and you know my life at home pursuing different social justice issues and how those can work together to um, give people a much more equal footing uh, in the world today. I would advise anybody in computer science to stay there and to finish their degree. There are so many opportunities in technology and computer science coming down the pike and computer science jobs are going begging. So finish that degree and use your skills in any way that you can, whether that's you know writing an app, writing a phone app, um, building a game, building a website, helping out a nonprofit. There's a ton of ways that you can explore your CS skill set today, even while you're still in school. And there's incredible learning beyond just computer science in a computer science degree. Computer science teaches you how to break problems down and to solve them, and to think of alternate ways to solve problems. So. Computer science applies much more than just writing code. It teaches you how to solve big problems in discrete ways. And that can apply to you know, economics, um, to building a business, uh, to growing a movement. There are so many problems in this world that need to be dissected and looked at for new and interesting solutions, and computer science really teaches you to think in that way. I think being a woman in the field of engineering, computer science, or science in general, um, you have to understand that you won't be in the majority. At least not for now, maybe someday. But that is an exciting and challenging um, and I think more interesting position to be in. Um, I have to understand that 
many of the people that I work with don't think in the same way that, that I do and come from a different perspective. And it's really useful to be able to think from somebody else's perspective who doesn't have your same life experience, um, whether they're male or female or single or married or um, American or come from somewhere else. Um, learning to think from other people's perspective is incredibly useful. Balancing family and work and other aspects of my life, um, the, the key component of that is having a capable and willing partner. Um, my husband and I trade off duties um, on a real-time basis. We text each other about who's picking up kids when and who's got meetings. Um, and the other key component of that is having a very flexible work environment. Um, both my husband and I are blessed to have very flexible work environments to be able to come and go when we need to, as long as we get our jobs done. So on days that my husband has meetings early, I'm home with the kids to get them off to school. On days that I have meetings late, he's picking them up. Um, and we are able to multitask by being connected with technology now to make that really easy and seamless. So we can you know, run home to a school event and then be, you know, checking email or doing whatever type of communications we need to with work um, when that event is over and maybe we go home and work for the rest of the day. Um, but you know, having that flexibility to interweave life and work is super important and having a partner to share it with um, makes it an incredibly fun way to live. You don't have to start a job these days and work straight through for 30 years. Um, people have the flexibility and the option to move in and out of different work situations as they fit their lives at that time. So I worked full time for Microsoft for seven years until I had my second child, at which point I felt it was um, both best for Microsoft and my family that I'd be home for a few years. Um, and I took that opportunity to actually do some contracting and work some part-time work. Um, and over that five years, I got to spend some great quality time with my young children. Um, and then when my family felt that it was the right time, I was able to step back into the workforce and actually come back to Microsoft. Um, and do it in a flexible way that really worked for my family. So I think it's really important for people when they're looking at their career to know that it doesn't have to look the same over their entire lifespan. Um, it can have different incarnations depending on what else is going on in your, your life, whether you want to travel and you want to work abroad, um, whether you want to be home with family or you need to take care of an aging parent. There's a lot of flexibility and opportunities these days to move in and out of the workforce um, as your life um, demands. As I look forward to the next five or ten years in my career, I'm, I'm really excited about being a part of the evolution of technology and the fact that it enables me to keep learning. Um, and as new things arise, they inspire me to explore new areas and new challenges that I really haven't even thought of yet today. Thank you.